Alright guys, so welcome to a CryEngine video. I know, it's odd, but I had to do it. So we're going to go over the basics. First thing we're going to do is create a terrain. As you all know, most modern engines support height maps, so we're going to use ours. And boom, we have our height map created. Now, originally, your ocean will not be up this high to go into this crevices but to do that all you have to do is set the ocean height for this height map to 145 so pretty simple so far uh, we have good frames a second and nearly 200 a second the next thing I'm going to show you this is going to be a, uh, a pretty packed video is the texture interface so click here we're gonna search for I don't know exactly what this would be called we're gonna go to terrain and we're gonna set this as forest terrain assign so you actually have to hit assign then hit assign material again and as you can see we now have a forest material Alright, so we're going to pull that over there and we're going to go to play. Alright, that's that. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the texture. Now we're going to go to terrain again, detail, and we are going to find earth leaves. So there's the displaced map. Uh, there's the diffuse map. So I'm just going to choose the. Uh... Displacement diffuse. I'm just hoping I got this right. All right. And we're going to generate the terrain texture. So since our map is um, 4K by 4K, we just need to hit OK. We're not allowed to travel or move around the engine during this time, so we just have to wait this out. Now, this can take a bit, depending on the size of the texture, and it's almost done for me. And there we go. Now, this engine, as you all know, is able to handle shit tons of foliage and things like that. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to put it down a small river. Um, the river tool is a bit buggy, but at least it works. And it should be done. So, as you can see, some parts it's trying to come through. Alright, so now the river tool. So you need to go to miscellaneous over in the object section. You'll have a rope, uh, a river, and a road tool. Both, again, are using spline meshes. And all you have to do is just click. Right about there. Now double click to complete it and then you go over into materials search river we got river rocks river ground things like that but let's put in some rapids sign the material
and for some reason it's not going to show up. Whoa. Was not expecting that. Let's just delete that. Let's try this river thing again. Um, this time, I think I'll just create a little place to put a river. Let me just bring this over here. This is going down. I'm going to put the hardness up a little bit. That's smooth. Okay. And that is ridiculous. Let's try two. Um, sync radiuses. Let's bring that down to two. All right, we're just gonna bring this to one. And of course, with it at zero point one, it's ridiculous. But at zero point two, it breaks everything. All right. So let's try to just put the height at zero. No. Nope. This thing is crazy. Let's put it at one. That's maxed. Whatever. All right, whatever. Okay. So right now, I guess in this version, the tools are a little bit crazy. Where did that go? Okay, river, click. It should not be all the way out there. Delete river six. Some days, some days. I question where did it go? No. I'm just gonna we're gonna bring it as close as possible. Grab this. And we're going to go to edit. And we're just going to bring this down. I don't know why the hell it was up so high, but every engine has its bugs. See if that's close enough yet. So there we have it. Don't mind it doing its thing. As you can see, it's already partially watered. I'll just bring this up just a bit. And what we're going to be doing now is going to go select that again because screwed up before. Okay, and there's your river. So we're going to just bring this. Aligned like that. And let's set this to... 30. The depth to 15. Now, if you want it to completely bump upwards, all you would need to do is it align with height map and it will automatically adjust the height map.
and fix the river problem. There we go. Now, usually the errors are not here like this, but since something started screwing up the minute I started recording, at least I did what I wanted to do. And as you can see, it's created sort of a, a riverbed here. And there you go. We have a river. Anyway, that's it for right now. Um, the next video I'm going to do is on foliage. Thanks for watching, guys.